Now we're going to put the going side wheels into the movement and check them to see if the plate needs bushing. Put the wheels in first. First wheel. Which drives the second wheel. Which goes there. Third wheel. By the lantern pinion to there. There we've got the three wheels. Now we'll put the top plate on. Move it into position so that the holes on the bottom of the plate line up with the bottom two pillars. Put a nut on each one of those, tighten down about halfway, just to keep it in place so it doesn't move. Now we can put the pinions in. Bring the first wheel up a bit tight. Third wheel. Oop, dropped out again. Open the plate just a tiny little bit to let it in. Put the second wheel in. There we go. All in now. Tighten the nuts down a bit more. We'll put one on the top post here to keep it secure. Right, there's our wheels all spinning freely. Now we need to have a look and see if we have to rebush any of the holes in the plate. Have a look at the first wheel first. That's that pinion there. End plays all right, but we're looking for side to side wobble. You can see that one's wobbling seriously. That'll have to be rebushed. Second wheel, that's the pinion there. Sufficient end play. See how misshapen the hole is. Yep, that'll have to be redone. And the third wheel, that pinion there. End play's all right. Too sloppy. Check the other side. First wheel again. You can see it moving around seriously there. It'll have to be redone that side also. Second wheel, that pinion there. All over the place. Third wheel, that pinion. Yep, right, they'll all have to be rebushed. So that's what we'll do now.